here again. Today we're going to be painting a gorgeous little John Dory on a plate. For today's fun, exciting exercise, we'll be using the Montmartre acrylic paint set. This comes in 12 vibrant, beautiful colours. They're buttery, smooth, they've got a lovely, clean, clean consistency, and they blend, blend beautifully. And it's a really good suggested palette also. And we shall be using the acrylic brush set. Now I love these. You get a great range of sizes. They come in a lovely wooden box. If you take care of these, they will last you a long time. Now today I'll be painting this on my 60 by 90, 380 fine quality canvas. These things are great. They've got a thick body so you don't need to frame them. And they've got a lovely rough weave. So onto this, I'm going to be drawing our dory on a plate. If you go to the last page of your PDF, you'll be able to transfer it on there directly. Okay, now I've drawn my circle. I've used a plate as a template for the first circle, and then I've just drawn in this by hand. I'm now drawing my fish on top of it. You don't need to be too precise with your fish proportions. Just have a bit of fun. The fish is made up of two main shapes. The body is circular and the head is simply a triangular shape. Use the weight of your hand to draw the line down the canvas. I'm just putting my tablecloth lines in here and they don't need to be straight. In fact, I think it looks better when they're squiggly. So to create our background, I'm going to put some 100% colour on here, then I'm just going to add a little bit of water to create a wash fading out. I'm using one of my favourite brushes from Montmartre here, the 75mm Taclon. It's perfect for painting large area and has a great angled edge to get into the corners. You can see there's virtually no colour here at all, just water and a tiny little bit of pigment. That's just we want what we want. And that's one of the really good things about acrylics, that you can do these washes with them. Just put a bit of yellow on the fish as well. We are now going to paint the fish. And this is with a series of browns, so just follow your PDF instructions for this and let's get into it. With Sienna, paint in some stripes. and then some yellow ochre mixed with a little water in between the stripes. Then using burnt umber, paint in the areas you think will give the fish emphasis and body. I'm using the angled brush here. You will just love how versatile this product is. Now for some yellow. You can see how lovely and thick the paint is. This is an exercise in building layers with acrylics. You can create so many fantastic effects with layering different colours. Now to tie it all together. I'm doing this with black and I'm using my number four round. These acrylic brushes have a long handle so you can use them very freely. Water down some black to create a grey wash for the shadow of the plate. Now paint on your white. Use different application techniques like layer it on thickly or dry brushing like I'm doing on the highlight. Now you're happy with your white application of paint? We're just going to put a few blue spots on the back of our fish. I'm using my favourite spotting technique just using the end of the brush. 
Now we just have to do the lines on our tablecloth. I'm just using my number four round for this. I'll put a little bit of water in with it so it flows nicer. I'm just very lightly holding the brush. Well there you have it, our fish on a plate with Montmartre acrylics and you can see the wonderful versatility you can get with this paint. Like for example the wash of the background going from darker to lighter, the thick impasta application of paint and the ability to change colour value just with water. So until next time, keep on painting!